Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. It is the crack of dawn, 6 a.m. I'll show you, look at the sun. It is beautiful, you can't actually see it so good in the camera, but it is stunning. This is my favorite view of the farm. I like the view in front of the house as well. Old barns, I always dreamed of having an old barn, isn't that weird? And here we are with this beautiful old barn. Pumpkins are, oh, I'm so disappointed in my garden. There's a big pumpkin, well it's not big, there's just a little pumpkin here. And oh, there's the one right there. And then there's a few over there. And this one is really black. Anyway, in the past I've had gardens that have not been as clean and not been as pretty. And I've had like so much vegetables. Like, I've had so much more produce. This one, this garden, this garden actually has not produced as much as I thought that it would. I obviously haven't, I didn't plant as much in this garden, but I'm disappointed by it. I thought I would get more. At least with the pumpkins and the squashes, they didn't do very well. But that's okay, I know how to fix it. Next year, we get to try again. We get to try all the time. Every time you get an opportunity to try something again, it's an opportunity to try, and it's amazing. Oh. <laughs> Little Wilbur there is waiting at the door for me. <laughs> Hi. Let's see. Hi, big guy. Isn't he getting cute? I don't know why. But suddenly he's getting so cute. Anyway, it's Friday and I decided to bring you guys with me down to do chores in the morning because I, uh, it's Friday and I never know. Like sometimes we end up just like crashing early on Friday. Hi, <laughs> Crick. And I haven't shown you guys the goats for a while. Hi, sweet baby. Yesterday I got all the cobwebs down, but apparently I missed one wall. And there's Cricket with her mama. She thinks, Lola thinks that she's her mama. Isn't Lola the cutest goat though? I'll show you her face when she turns around here. Look at her face. She has the cutest face. Hi Cricket. <laughs> You're really cute. She's one of my favorites. She's kind of like shy, but also but also not. Like if you run at her or you're too fast, she's a bit shy, but Lola raised her. Lola raised her and did amazing. Like taught her that it's okay, she's okay here, she's safe here. I can't believe that. Like animals are amazing, you guys. So I always see Posey first. Haha, <laughs> Posey! Let me show you Posey. Haha, <laughs> Posey! She's still my favorite little animal on this farm. Hi, baby. She really wants me to pet her and hug her and kiss her. That's why she's looking up at me like that. But she's hungry, so she wants to eat first. Also, I'm having problems with water buckets for the pigs, for her. Because if I put one that's a little bit taller than this, she spills it. If I put one that's like this, it won't spill and that she can actually drink out of without having to like tip it at, at all, then she just steps in it and gets it dirty. So, still trying to figure that one out. I'll be right back. I'll be right back, I gotta get your food. Get in there. I really like to feed my pigs first because they take the longest to eat. Can you believe that? The super good news about this big guy is that he, when he first came, he pooped in his stall. He pooped in his room. He found a corner and he pooped there every day. It took about a week and then all of a sudden once he realized that he was going out, like once he figured out the schedule that we were in, he started pooping outside only. So he never poops in his stall anymore. He never goes to the bathroom in his stall. Pigs are so clean. Like, that's why I don't understand how pig farms smell so bad. Is it bad husbandry? Or is it, like why, why? Is it because they have so many together all in one small space so it's impossible to clean up after, after them? But, I don't know. I've never had a pig farm. I shouldn't. I'm not judging. I don't get it. All I know is that my pigs are the most potty trained animal on the planet. Right, big guy? I could easily be a pig farmer, you guys. Like an actual pig farmer. One that has like only pigs. Well, I wouldn't only want pigs, but I could have a lot of pigs because I love them so much. And people say like, boy, pigs that aren't neutered stink really bad. And he doesn't smell at all. He's the same as Posey. There's no smell. I mean, he's not active as a 
as a boy on our farm, so maybe that's why. I don't know, but he doesn't stink at all. He's a nice, clean boy. You're a nice, clean boy, right? I love him. He used to be nervous of us, used to be scared of us, but now he's almost like Posey. He'll lay down, lets me touch him, even when he's eating. He's such a good baby. His little tail is wagging. And then when I stopped petting him, he complained. However, as you get to the back part of the barn, I'm starting to pick up an odor back here. It's not like a bad odor, it's just the beginning of an odor. And I know it's from my little buck, he's starting to get a little bit of a smell. Speaking of the new little, our new little buck, he actually lets me touch him. Okay, so he doesn't actually let me touch him. <laughs> But I can touch him and he hasn't run away. And a couple of times he's like moved up against me and he's really starting to like come around a little. To be fair, I think it's the hormones. Like he's a little more frisky so he wants more touch. And little Cricket is still here waiting for some more pets. Isn't she the cutest baby? Yes, I know, we love you too. In the morning I'm able to open this door and let Snickers just let himself out whenever he wants because he's such a good boy. He doesn't try and run around the barn, he just goes outside. What is that? Oh, <laughs> there's our chicken. <laughs> she prefers to be with the boys, but she goes to the girls and she even goes up and hangs out with the chickens and the ducks sometimes. Unfortunately, the goats are not as well behaved. I have to let them all out. <laughs> Watch, Tilly gets, Tilly gets so mad. Tilly gets so mad if anybody goes out before her. Watch, tell me if you can tell. Oh, she didn't do it today. Usually she goes bucking and kicking. And the babies, my favorite girls. Come on, out you go. Out, hit the road, Joe. Go. Come on, Lola. They won't go out until Lola comes. Come on, out. Out. Come on, look at how chunky she is. Both of them are chunky. Out. Get out, Posey. None of this coming back in business. <laughs> All right, Lola has ruined my, my schedule today. Come here, little girl. Come on, out. Come on, you guys gotta go. Out. Come on, get out there. Get out. Come here, little girl. Come here. Say hi. Say good morning. Good boy. Good boy. Out you go. Do you guys think he's gained a little weight? His belly hangs down a little. I ask myself all the time, like, do I miss just having the horses to take care of? Because Sam and Gabby and Sophie take care of the horses. Uh, I do the goats in the morning and the answer is I miss taking care of the goat horses because I like it to be the way I like it and when other people do it then they have to do it their way but I can't do everything so listen get off that step I need to put that in front of the door <laughs> he does this every day we have this discussion come on off the step there you go. You guys are all set. The truth is, I love it just the way that it is. I love that I don't have to do all the animals. If I had to, I would, and I would probably love that too. But I love that I can come down and spend so much time. Like, I think a lot of issues with farmers is that you never have like the time that you need to enjoy it. Just like in any job, when you're like under a time crunch or you're super busy and there's just a lot going on, then you don't ever have the time to like enjoy it. When I come down and I take care of my animals, I love it. I like spend time petting them. I, hey! Scream at them when they try and attack my pig. Actually, they're not trying to attack my pig. The two old ladies are in heat. So they're like in love with one another. That may look like a strange kind of love to you, but. Anyway, that's my answer. I love just taking care of the goats in the morning and at night, Sophie and I come down together. But I do miss the horses. I like miss doing the care, like letting them in and out because that's when you get to see their personality come through and you get to see so much more of the herd dynamics. But I also love just going down in the field and watching them, especially when it's not scorching hot and it is scorching hot today. Anyway, that's it. I'm gonna do a clean of the barn. 
and sweep everything out and then I'm headed back up to the house. I hope you guys are all having an awesome morning or an awesome day because I know it's not morning everywhere you guys live. And I hope you're able to find the beauty, the magic in each and every day, the many miracles that happen that God gives us every single day that sometimes we take for granted. Like being able to just stand here for five seconds and watch my little goat play around and enjoy their life. And my little piggies is just a mini miracle in the making. Look at how wet it is on top of the garbage can. That's how wet the whole environment feels. Like just walking out here at 6 a.m., I'm soaked. Everything on me is wet. It's like just a mist, mist of wetness. It's gross. Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. So today, it's time. I got a haircut. <laughs> but it's time, and I'll show you what it's time for. It's time to fix this fence, finally. And what I decided to do is I have a nice whole roll of fencing. So I'm gonna take this off. See, I was gonna attach it, but it's wrecked in certain spots. Like it's wrecked right there. And it's wrecked over here. I don't even know how it became wrecked like that. And then it's bent here, and then somebody tried to patch it up here. This was all like this when they moved in. And then over here, not this one, but this is the one because it's so cut. It's so cut right here. This is the one. <laughs> this is where the baby goes through. She goes under this and then she comes back the other way. She goes under and comes back the other way. So my plan is to take, I might end up taking this whole fencing off because even down here it's all wrecked so it's good up to here so I'm gonna have to take it from here all the way back all the way back there and I have a huge roll in the barn the only problem is it's not this tall this is five feet it's about five feet, but the fencing I got is four feet, so. Guys, I have been begging for Sam to fix this fence for weeks. You guys have heard me. And then he woke up today and was like, we're fixing the fence. And it's like oh, a holiday for me. <laughs> it's like a special day. You need selfie strength. <laughs> They're not going to jump it, so just put it on the bottom and don't oh, worry. You roll it. Don't worry about how high it is. You roll it. We're going all the way down. But I do see that down. it's shorter. Yeah, it's different fencing too. See. <laughs> yeah, it's it. We got it. We might as well but use it. It was all warped and cut. Every. <laughs> but the horses. Yeah. But she won't get through it. So. I wonder if she'll like be able to start messing with this though. No. Yeah. Hopefully she won't get through it. So. I love it. I love a man who's working. I love a working man more than anything. Like, I just love it. And our two Palominos down there, mom and daughter, back together. I know Lady tried to steal her and then Storm loves her, the baby, but she's always Gracie's baby. And the most amazing thing about Gracie is that she's so relaxed about her. Like, I don't know, she's just such a good mama. Summertime, and my hair is a mess because of the heat and the humidity. I can't even do anything with it. And wintertime, I'm wearing hats and headbands. My hair so, just, I wake up. Imagine like how my hair could look. <laughs> Actually, I anyway. wake up and my hair straight after I shower. And then within the day, it turns to this. Sophie said that her hair is straight when she showers, and then within the day, it turns into that. Anyway, Sophie wanted me to see something. In the outhouse. Oh, do you guys see it? I was like, well, we've never awesome. walked in here before. Like this was here before we came and uh, we don't love it. Ellie. But these don't belong. Yeah, I don't think those are supposed to be there. <laughs> so uh, Sam and uh, Gabby, Sam and Gabby said that the fence is done. I asked Gabby, how's the fence look? And she said, it's awful. I said to Sam, how's the fence look? And he said, oh, it's all right. <laughs> 
Let's go see. Do you guys think it's humid out too? It's so hot. I'm so proud of you guys for being in here together with no fighting. Sam thought it was gonna rain today, so he didn't put any fly masks on. Then when I came out earlier, I just walked out the door and I heard Sam say, Laura, come here quick. And I'm like, what, what happened? So I ran and there was Penny standing on the grass, like the front yard grass. And as she was eating the grass, he said, I can't get your horse, she got out. He tried to get the tractor in the field and she made a run for it. And she doesn't listen to him, only to me or Sophie, so I had to go catch her, but okay. First look, I'm gonna show you guys to see if you notice any change at all. Oh, so just looking here, it doesn't look so bad. Like, I don't see what Gabby means, it looks awful. Maybe because she had to help him. <laughs> she wasn't happy about it. But it doesn't look bad. Let's get closer. Ah, I see. Actually, I prefer this one because you can't see it. So this is what it looks like. And still wobbly. She could push under that maybe. Um, and then this is like the taller black one. So anyway, I think he's gonna have to come out here and reinforce the bottom, but I don't know why he didn't pull it tight. Like, what's the point of that? Do you have to like pull it tight so it doesn't bow, bow? I don't know. I don't think this is a good fence. We're gonna have to get something else. This is a band-aid for now. Maybe in the fall we can figure out a better way to fence this, even though it is tight. Like she can't, there's no way she can get under there. It just looks weird. Come on, Ellie. You guys, you guys saw all the horses a minute ago. They were all in the barn up by the water trough and they were looking at me. Now Lady has her, is it Lady? Yeah, Lady has her head turned around and she's facing me. You can tell by the white mark that you can see there. The humidity is awful, like awful. Anyway, when I had to catch Penny today, I put her fly mask on because it didn't rain and she really appreciates the fly mask. Don't you? I'm just grateful that they can come in and be out of the sun and there'll be a breeze. There's a nice breeze in there, but this part there's not. Anyway, I'm gonna show you guys my finger and then I'm gonna go have dinner. So this is it now. It kind of did a double, it kind of, kind of changed on me today. All that dead skin there, that's where she poked it. See all the little, I don't know if you guys can see it. I don't know if you guys can see all the little poke holes there that she sliced it with. There's one, two, three, four. Uh, it hurts a little bit more right now, but I think it's because I lost my band-aid and I don't know if I got something in it. That's the little hole right there. Anyway, still feeling good though. Look it. She saw me and just came galloping up to me. This little baby. She may be a brat, but she's our brat and I love her. I love her because I know everything about her. I know like where she came from. I know what she's been through. I know like she's happy and healthy and emotionally strong. And so when she's a brat, I know that she comes by it naturally. Anyway, I thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the way